Hey, we recently had a awesome meeting with some of our clients. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's how you want to describe it. And we, we saw a couple different neighborhoods with them, and um, one of them was, was super memorable, I feel like. And we're going to talk a little bit about how that community is probably the right fit for them. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, we almost killed them. Um, <laughs> it, we, but we didn't We did it. almost kill them. <laughs> I thought it was close. It was his fault. It, it's not my fault. Listen, it was his fault. Let, let's preface this by saying I, I, am, I was a firefighter and a medic and, and a 911 dispatcher in a previous life. So I brought in props today, Mark, to tell <laughs> oh, our Lord. story. Yes. I, and I brought one for you, too. So this is oh. an old helmet from when I was a... Oh, here. Oh, look at this picture. Look, look oh, my, my gosh. Look how, look how young I am. You're from like... That's from like 1920, isn't it? <laughs> they didn't have cameras back then. Oh, oh okay. All right, so here's my... Oh, and, you look great. And I, and I brought you my... My dress uniform hat oh. to wear today. I look important in this. And I can tell. This is our new tool we're adding. <laughs> yeah. Right? So we have a realtor toolbox we use. And apparently, we're going to put this in it. So here's how so it started. Let's tell them how we, they can reach out to us if they want to. Yes. Um, so you know, if you, this is your first time watching, thanks so much for watching. Of course, we get people all the time that reach out to us and call, text, email, and the best way to reach out is to schedule a Zoom call. And we promise not to wear these hats. It's really if, good in if that. you don't want to do it. Yeah, you want to take that home? Yeah, I might share my like that. Yes, you might. <laughs> but to schedule a Zoom call, you can click the link in the description. So now let's tell them about all right, this so, experience. All right, so we're out in Four Seasons in Cane Bay, one of our favorite 55 yes. plus neighbors with some great clients. We really like them. They're actually uh, pretty pretty serious about buying down yeah, here. Yeah, I think it'll be soon. And uh, and so we were out looking at some properties with uh, the the in home, you know, the builders representative. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's Community call rep. him Rick. Okay, let's yeah, call him we'll Rick. Say his name that's a good Rick. name. So uh, we're out with Rick in the golf cart that Kahov, that's the builder they own, and they rent those from a local company, and it's a big, beefy golf Yeah, it's cart. like six-seater. It and is, yeah, and it's, uh, you know. It's nice. It's fast. It's got torque. It's real torquey. Yeah. You, know, you hit the gas, and it goes, baby. Uh, so we're it's a it's an electric golf cart because in Cane Bay you're only allowed to have no gas electric golf carts. Yeah. So we're overlooking at some properties on the far side of the neighborhood, and this was right before the Fourth of July, and we started smelling something, and to me, yeah, I said to Dwayne, who was also on our team, yeah, I said, hey, it kind of smells like fireworks. It's done. It totally smells like gunpowder. Let's okay, so. Me and Rick are in the front seat, clients are in the second, second seat, seat, and then Dwayne, our team member, and Mark, because this is actually a client of Dwayne's, yep. but we were all out there working together, they were sitting in the back seat, and you, you guys were facing to the rear, right? Right, right. Yeah, so you couldn't see a we lot couldn't of see what anything. was going on. Yep. And I was so, like, we thought it was just like 4th of July preparation. Somebody setting off some fireworks before the 4th. Yeah, yeah. And then we get over, across a bridge, and we're heading back towards the, the sales center, and the smell changed. It smelled to me like it was a brush fire. Like somebody had, they were burning wood or a campfire or something like but that. Really Did was, you smell the difference in the... I didn't because I was in, in you, the way back. Too far think, back, yeah. yeah. But you were you were super close to it. I was, as it turns out, I was extremely close to it. So we're like, oh, that's, that's interesting. And I was a little confused because, you know, firefighter. Like, that's really odd that I would smell one type of smoke and then, like, four minutes later, smell a different Your type of smoke. Your brain went into, I like, was starting to think about it. Hold on. There's something wrong here. And then our client said, oh. And they didn't. Like, it was just a, oh. Yeah, they weren't alarmed. They weren't alarmed. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't terrifying. But they said, uh, oh, hey, um, there's smoke coming out from underneath your seat. And I'm like, so I looked down. And there was absolutely smoke coming out from underneath. And I turned around. My seat. Yes, under your seat. Not and it was like Rick's seat, like not your seat. Lots of smoke. Lots of smoke. And that's when I realized my bum's getting hot. <laughs> but <laughs> you didn't realize it at first because no, it you had a big fat wallet, right? <laughs> I thought you were going to say in a big no, bum. No, a, 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 How rude do you think I am? I do not. So, yeah. So I'm sitting, it's like, you ever see the Seinfeld episode when George Costanza opens up the, and everything comes oh, yeah, out yeah, of it? Yeah, 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 so I do have a pretty big wallet here. And so I was I was kind of sitting on the wallet, not the seat, but I, I realized that my bum's getting kind of hot. So I'm thinking about this for a second. I'm like, okay. Let, let, me, let me say how you said it. Yes, okay. All right, so, so we're going down, and he's thinking about it, he's like, Hey, Rick, pull over. Pull over. Pull over now. Because <laughs> I'm everybody off the cart. This where is there's, death. Where there's the smoke fire. and there's heat, there's fire. fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, 
We were going to try. Rick said, I'm going to try to make it back. Because yeah. this is just when we smelled something. And he's really. booting, and we're going around this corner. And this golf course fast. Yeah. And guess what happened? Well, he tried to stop. He tried to stop, but the fire caused the brake line to go out. Yeah. And we're going around. I'm holding on to the pole because <laughs> I thought I was getting thrown off the golf cart. So he can't stop. You know, just gravity kind of has to bring us to a stop. So we dive out of the cart and I, Rick I, rips the. There's the problem. The Eric Rick right? should not have opened up the seat because that just fed a ton fed of the oxygen, oxygen into the yep. fire. And here's the result. You can check out the videos here. Here's what happened. So you see this, and there's flames, and it started, you know, a little slower, but then yep. it was ripping there after a minute. So I called Rick. Didn't, I, I told Rick. I said, "Dial 911." <laughs> he couldn't. He didn't have his phone. I had my phone on me. So I'm like, "All right, I'll call 911." So when you see me walking around the back of the cart there, I'm talking to the dispatch center. Um, and I didn't actually, we weren't at an address, so I kind of had to look across look the across street to yeah. see what we were closest to. Uh, but they said, don't try to put it out. So Rick came out with. He comes flying back comes, with this. Yeah, he ran all the way back to the sales center. He's pretty fast. He I is fast. Say. That was, he should be a firefighter. For an old guy, I mean. not old. <laughs> what are you ripping on Rick for? For, for a thousand year old man, he was, Rick's young. And so he comes back with a fire extinguisher. I'm like, nope, they said, don't put it out. And if you catch, I don't know if we're gonna play the audio in the video, but play, play the audio right here. Okay. Where Mark is blaming me. So this is what happens when you go on a golf cart ride with Jeff Gregg. Um, it just catches fire for some reason. This is all your fault. It was Somehow this is my fault. Just so whose seat was it under? Whose seat I'm, was the fire under? I was the I'm just saying. victim. Whose seat was the fire on? It was under me. Okay. So and the discussion. Different. There we go. So then the fire department, uh, you know, they said, don't don't put it out. And you'll see here the fire department pulling in. And uh, they, they were there really fast. So yep. if, if nothing else, this is a great testament to uh, fire living station. in Cane Bay. Mm -hmm. There's a fire station in In-house. there. Yeah. yeah. So they had it out and, you know, no time at all. But the good and, thing is, is somebody asked me the question. But did you make the sale? Well, I think we're gonna, yeah. We're gonna. Uh, yeah, I think they like the neighborhood. They really do. I think they're just waiting for the right lots, lots to be to released, and then I, I think they're gonna make a move on because it. Because why wouldn't you like the the navigable waters? Yeah. The huge 300 acre lake in the back. Yeah. They've got plenty of different models to walk through. If you want to see this neighborhood, you know, definitely let us know. Bring marshmallows. You never know when you're going to have a fire. <laughs> it, that fire smelled. It did smell. Yeah, it made my clothes smell bad. Yeah, Rick had a little bit of a headache. Yeah. From yeah. The, the battery yeah, fuse. He, or whatever. he was being a big baby. Well, he made it. I, I saw well, him he was it. tired out from running to get the fire extinguisher. <laughs> he doesn't have to exercise for I the rest of the so week. I bad. He, he ran all the way back to the sales center to get the fire extinguisher, and then we didn't end up using it. Yeah. But the fire department was there really fast. But if you want to know more about this neighborhood, we promise to try to not kill you. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll definitely best. help you out. Give us a call. Give us an email. Schedule a Zoom call using the link in the description. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you.